Hey, what's happening guys? Bly Art Trooper, Nocturnal Game here, and uh, we're playing on a new DLC, Eclipse, on a new map, Zetsubo no Shima. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get this skull here, and there's a whole backstory on how to get into this room, but I'm putting this video first because, just because. Anyway, I do not recommend going in here by yourself, or actually more than two people. By yourself is fine, um, if you don't have Jug, uh, one person will be fine. Uh, if you fail it, you the, the barriers will go down and it's basically very similar to the Shadows of Evil thing when you do the rituals and stuff. Uh, but this takes a very long time so I don't recommend any more than two people. It just it gets crowded as you can see. Um, one person already went down, my partner went down in like two seconds. But right now I'll explain what exactly... Um, you need to do to get here and well without making a video about it there's a, a pedestal up there or a monument actually that has four skulls on each side of it and you pick one up and it's very uh, familiar and similar to the uh, and as you can see you can't revive people through the barrier there um, we tried but it's very similar to the Easter egg in uh, in Shadows of Evil where you just take them and you charge them different places. There are four different pedestals where you put the skulls um, and each skull has, a, has its own pedestal that you need to put it on and you just kill zombies that spawn from a portal and their their main goal is to destroy the skull that you put on the pedestal so they don't attack you at all so that makes things so much easier but the only bad thing that happens is that the uh, the the fungus man or whatever people want to call him the thrasher he, he spawns sometimes too when you're doing this so um that's the only downside to doing it and when you when you do all four skulls you will uh put it back on the pedestal thing on the monument above here on the stairs and it will open this area and that's it and you come down here and you charge it up and uh, you come here and get the skull of non subway i think that's how you pronounce it and that is what it is right there the skull and you have two functions uh, one is to mesmerize and uh, the other is to destroy here um, yeah right here they just, they just pop but basically uh, you can do other things too in that little cavern where you unlock the skull in and I will let the gameplay footage also there's no audio here sorry I messed up the settings so uh, yeah here's the, the footage have a great day or night see ya something happened look oh. what I just put on the wall yeah so Something just happened. Oh, I just put on the wall. Easter egg, Easter egg time. Oh shit! How'd you put that oh, there? And of course, I start lagging. I'm good. I'm just super uh, tired. Get, get, use your use your mesmerize thing against the against the wall. I'm. Oh just super shit! Tired. I've been awake for uh, almost 24 hours just now straight. My be first hours, down, actually. everyone. My first down. Uh, this is a trap. I'm dead. Are you wide awake now? Oh. Just when I start finding weird ass shit, there's like a mountain on that thing, and then there's like what four is balls and a big ball and some tentacles. No, that's that's a, a that's a wraith. That's the the witch thing, the floating thing. He's he's see his arms are oh, out. Oh the yeah yeah, and it looks like a pedestal yeah, that he's going towards, and the four balls behind him. That must be the four skulls. Yeah. I'm coming to you guys right now, oh, so I have no yeah, idea what maybe. the fuck you guys are talking about. I'm dead. Oh, and there's other guys it's beneath him. Yo, there's four giants so and 11 miniature people. I think there's... And the miniature people, people are... Huh? Yo, what perk did you guys get? 